um, and yes, in, in the Islamic in the north of Italy. Uh, okay. We are specializing in slow architecture, in training, and we implement with a quick uh, start method to solve the project from uh, to the customer. So normally when we go to, to the customer, we implement our methodology to retrieve the requirement, to implement the project, and to uh, understand what the, the customer uh, would like you to, to do. In this use case, the customer is uh, the Italian municipality, a community in Milano, is located in the north uh, of Italy, is it He has about uh, uh, 1 million uh, people and 4 million of tourists during uh, the uh, one year. Uh, what is the problem for the, the community in Milano? In, uh, before this uh, application, and uh, because before that we implement this kind of architecture, uh, the community in Milano has a problem that he has a lot of application, he also has now, that the interaction between the application is one-to-one. -one. So when he had to inter integrate an application with another, he go to a one-to-one -one integration. And it was a, a, a big problem to the municipality because uh, he didn't know exactly how many services he has and who is the um, owner of the services and also who is the owner of the data. In, before this uh, infrastructure, um, all the application can manage, delete, update, modify data, all, all, all kind of, of data. So the address of the people, the name of the people, and some kind of information about uh, the citizen can modify to all the, in the application. So is uh, in uh, in, uh, in uh, the, the when the municipality decide to create the interoperability platform, a unique platform and an open source platform where it was public, possible to publish the services and it was possible to understand how many services there is inside the municipality and in case it's possible to manage all the integration between the application. And also via this, this kind of uh, uh, platform, it also is also possible to manage uh, the master data, OCR, to understand who is the owner of the data and uh, define who can use this kind of, of data and who cannot use it. So in this process we have about uh, uh, one, uh, 100 to 200 uh, application. In the project, we have two people of Community Milano, and we use we spend about 20 uh, 20 man days to develop a book, and about 20 man days to go in uh, in production. It is a, a big, quite big uh, project, but we start in iterative and incremental. Way. So, for the beginning, we try to. Uh, Retrieve all the requirements. We have some interview with the customer. We uh, speak with the customer and we try to understand what he would need to do for this platform. So we try to understand how big the platform must be, how many instances of the product we have to do, if it's need a cluster or not, if it's an ability or not. So we have some time to speak with the municipality to understand exactly what we need. After that, we design a solution. Professor design an architect solution and we share with WC2 and we understand if it is the best solution for the customer. After that, he check the solution with the customer. So we, we, we share with him and we decide to implement the POC. The POC, a POC, uh, after implementation, a POC is running for three or four months and the customer can, has able to deploy services, consume services, and also share with all the business units inside the municipality. So the problem is not only technical, but the problem is also political because all the business units of the municipality must to understand that, is in, that is in, this is possible and is mandatory to use this kind of infrastructure. After the the POC, after the POC is was stable and all people know the important to use this kind of architecture, we uh, <coughs> deliver with the, the customer the standard, the standard for the interoperability. 
So we write some documentation where we decide which kind of web services, which kind of REST, with which kind of technology we have to implement. We design also the processes about how to deploy architecture, how to deploy services, which kind of uh, documentation that uh, um, an, ap an application have to implement to accept that the services must be uh, deployed inside the infrastructure. When the standard is, uh, is running and is okay, we go to the, to the production. Now we are in production uh, in clustering, so the, uh, the community is running this kind of infrastructure and has deployed some services. Obviously, we don't deploy all the services uh, of the municipality, but we deploy some services. The first one is uh, necessary for the expo, <coughs> and it is called lost and found, and it is a service that is necessary for the keeper to understand, to uh, retrieve his thing when he lost it, uh, it and to retrieve the, the, the things that he, that he lost during the, the expo. The other services that we deploy is the, um, is the GP, GPS, uh, is the SIPO, <laughs> or yeah, is the services that is necessary to retrieve where the uh, citizens live and where it's possible to, to retrieve the information about the address and the location of the, the citizen. This is the architecture. You know this day, you know some, some name, some color, some application. So we have an API manager and the business process uh, to manage the API. We have an enterprise service bus with a data service server and a business security monitor to monitor all what's happening inside the architecture. So the API man or the consumers um, consume only the services that is deployed inside the API Manager. So it's mandatory for the consumer only the connected to, to, to the API Manager. When we, uh, the API Manager can consume the services directly, these services is existing inside the municipality. If the services is, uh, is a standard, the API Manager connected directly with the services is not there, the enterprise service bus can manage it, transform it, and the change from REST to SOAP to SOAP to REST from a uh, version to another or you simplify it or, can, or in some case the enterprise service bus also create new services for the chain. So we use some services and we connect the services to, to another. We use the data service server to retrieve the information from a database and don't transform the SQL into um, into services. How we deploy it? The, the, the technical architecture uh, is the clustering of the application is this one. So we have the API manager divided in three parts. <coughs> we have the publish and store where the people can retrieve the information, so can publish the, the, um, the services and can retrieve the services. So the list of the services is inside this, this node. We have the key manager in clustering, two nodes of keys manager, and into the key, the key manager is necessary to authenticate the people when we try to retrieve, when we try to consume the services via the API gateway. And the API gateway is also deployed in cluster. In cluster. We have four nodes, two for internal and two for external one, and the master to manage the, the cluster. So when uh, the application tries to consume the services, it goes to the gateway API, it authenticates via key manager, and we use only the public chain store to register the services or to retrieve the services and information about it in time of publishing and store. Um, the cluster of enterprise service bus installed at the DSS plus the DSS feature, so we have uh, SB and DSS installed in the same JVM, is made by two nodes and also the master that manage the configuration, deployment, and the development of the services deployed inside SB and DSS. The BPS is in cluster, two nodes, uh, is not worker manager because it's so easy, so we decide to deploy it in uh, 
uh, worker manager on only, only two nodes, and we had a cluster of BAM, two um, main nodes of BAM, and the clustering for Cassandra Hadoop. We used a version 2.4, uh, so 2.4, so we don't uh, have in this moment the necessity to use Puppet as a system of clustering uh, uh, for, for the BAM. This is a technical architecture in this moment, and behind of this architecture there is a, a balancer, and the balancer is made by uh, the technical people of the municipality of um, uh, the community of Milan, and uh, is made by F5 uh, infrastructure. So we help people to implement the clustering via F5, we implement a method to understand which is the node that is active and which is uh, passive. So in this moment, we are able to uh, manage the active passive mode via F5 uh, implementation. Uh, what's the meaning of the single piece of architecture? The enterprise is bus and the SSS we use, we use to normalize the services or to create some change services. And also for integrate with a no services application. We have, a, unfortunately, a lot of file, <laughs> Excel, CDS, uh, text file, and we need to transform this file into services because people need to retrieve information from this file and expose as a service. So we use the enterprise service bus and DSS to do this kind of operation. And inside the customer, there are a lot of database. I think in all customers, there is a lot of data. And not all the applications are able to retrieve services or, or because the application is so old, so it's made in old, in old in fast track in old architecture, or because there is not the code for some applications, so it's not possible to create services. And so we use the DSS to uh, take data from database and transform it into, into service again. Another thing that we use the enterprise service bus it to guarantee the services reliability. So we implement throttling and the possibility to understand if the, uh, the backend services <coughs> is down or not, and also we can manage the reliability of the services via the enterprise service bus. The API manager we use to expose the services. So people try and consume services via API manager, people slash application, because the application is integrated in this, in this moment in this architecture. It's also um, used to authorize the services, to catalog the services, but we, and also to, uh, is used to produce the documentation for the services. In this moment, when the people would like to consume some services, there is no documentation inside the, um, the municipality. S with the API manager, we have a possibility to, to upload with the services also the documentation and the interoperability people um, write down all the documentation for the services, um, some examples, some client, so when the, when the application tries to consume the services, he has all the documentation for consuming, he has the example, he has the client, I can download, download automatically and without some particular permission from the API Manager store, uh, store feature. So the most important to use an API manager with a publishing store is because we have a, where, a place where we can not only expose services, but only expose information. And um, it's, it's important to expose it because, in the, because we have all the, the documentation we need to, to consume the, the services. Um, another problem that we have with the, um, the customer is to normalize the process to extend the services. Because in this moment, what people need to consume such services from the application, the only way what you have to do is come to the developer and ask him, can I consume the services? And the developer yes, say, yes, you can consume it. And uh, there is no documentation that uh, regulates the, um, the access to the services or the access to the, to the data. Within the interoperability platform, we create a customized process where people, when would like to deploy services, when would like to access some services, or when would like to connect to the 
application, <coughs> he has to uh, com compile some form, retrieve some data, and there is some people inside the municipality that approve this kind of information. So the business process approve the user's name, the application creation, and the services subscription. And we customize this kind of, uh, uh, of process. With a BAM, we do a monitor. In this, morning, in this moment, we monitor only the services. Uh, we didn't monitor the process. Uh, we monitor, uh, we do a very, very simple monitor. We understand how many people register inside the services, how many uh, consumer instances we have in this moment. In the future, we have to implement the KPI and the alarm for connected to the KPI of the, um, to the services. What you do? Oh, we create a cluster. Uh, Professia is the, with the technical, his technical people, he create an active passive mode clustering. So we also to design the architecture, we install the product, we configure the product, we configure the operating system, we configure the database, uh, we install it, and also we do the test about uh, the platform. We customize all the process, so the, de the developer of all the process is made by, by us, by Professor Clifford. He writes some standard, because uh, some standard he will write is wrote by the, the customer, and some rather he, he wrote us. And we do a pair programming. So for this project, for the first time, the municipality don't want that the customer, he is the only owner of the infrastructure. But he, the, the Comune Minano give us two people, and these two people uh, know exactly all the infrastructure, all the technical problem that we have, um, all the way to install and manage the application. We are not able to install <laughs> the, the application, but you know how you can do it. Well, but you know what's happened during the, the installation. So we do a pair programming for services development and also for manage the platform. In this moment, the people are able to maintain uh, the platform alone. Sometimes, yes, they. <laughs> He called us when if there is some problems, some bug, but uh, for the normal maintenance of the platform, the community Minano it can do in autonomy. Uh, what we, um, which is with which uh, our value added that we do has we do in this in this project. We know all the WCC platform. So when you arrive inside the community of Milano, who professor know all the application about WSU2, and we are able to decide which is the best one to use. For the beginning, uh, <coughs> the municipality would like to use the enterprise service bus, uh, but we try to explain that it was better to use also the API manager, but if he has the BPS, the DSS, et cetera, et cetera. So we help uh, the customer to, um, to choose the correct application that he have to use. And this is possible because uh, Professor is also, she knows all the um, solution that WS2 has, and because they implement uh, all the product in other, in, uh, to other customers. Um, the other ability that we have in this moment is uh, we are able to communicate with all developers inside um, the community Milano. We are able to communicate with PHP.net, Java uh, developer to interact with API Manager. So when there is some problem from the client, when the client has some problem to access data, to retrieve authentication, to do some interaction with the infrastructure, we speak directly with uh, the, uh, the developer. And we implement the agile methodology with interactive uh, incremental approach. We start with 
and enter uh, with a NAPI manager and an enterprise service bus, and nothing else. After that, I added an ESS. After that, I, we added a uh, BPS. And when all is working, we add it a down. So we install one product at a time. The POC is not in cluster, it is in a single instance. And for the first installation, we install all inside a single machine. When all is working, we split in another machine. So we do an interactive incremental approach so the customer can understand what he needs. It, it was easy for us to uh, destroy something and install again because we don't need install in the same in one, in one time all the application what we need to um, for for the architecture. A simple, very simple SWOT analysis what we have from this project. Uh, yes, there is some strengths, opportunity. Uh, the big mix is that is quite complexity for no technical people because with clustering, active passes, oh, I don't understand which is up, which is down. So there is some problem about, uh, about this. But the point that uh, I would like to, to put attention to you is the networking dependent. Uh, in this moment, the, the clustering depends on the architecture of the network and sometimes I have to speak with uh, the technical people about uh, to understand if he has some network problem because we are not able to access to our services. And we have some threats. In, in this moment, the most important point is that uh, the um, infrastructure is not mandatory. So there is no limitation to access the existing services directly because in this moment we are not able to lock, to create a block to a, a network um, and guarantee that the people didn't access directly to the services. So sometimes when we are taking coffee, I can understand that some people try to over, <laughs> dial over this kind of uh, um, in infrastructure and try to access directly to, uh, to the services. And this is not, uh, we cannot limit this kind of access because it's not possible to block all and start again from a new kind of uh, uh, approach. The other uh, thread is that in this moment, not all people understand SOA as architecture, but understand SOA as web services. And the other one is that sometimes some decision uh, about the implementation of the services is not is it, is it doing because we have to do in marketed in least time and we didn't understand that it's impossible, it's important to understand what is the project maintenance. So when sometimes you speak with people, but you decide to implement this, forest, this service in this way, what's about the project maintenance? What's it? Why? <laughs> so is the most uh, uh, trust that we have in, in this moment. In the future, we have to implement the ban KPI. We have to deploy new services, and we would like to create a process to automate the integration request. So when people have to integrate uh, to uh, to, the, to the platform, we would like to create a, a process so the people have to complete the form, uh, approve integration retrieve all the data, persist the data inside a database. And then, it was very easy to do this kind of approach with WSU2 because we deploy in the POC in very, very quickly time. Uh, <coughs> and uh, we are very, it's very, very easy to deploy new services. Um, there is the two people that help us to Deploy the service inside the community of Milano is not, not technical, so uh, we teach him how to develop in Synapse. He brought down Synapse using uh, uh, the web interface and he created the main services that he had to, to deploy inside the services. And 
The other approach that it was easy to implement now is the separation of concern. It was easy for us to explain to all uh, the, um, the people of Community Milano, which is the separation of concern inside the sewer architecture.